Thanks for coming back to a special Yes Network presentation, Brooklyn Nets Media Day, live from HSS Training Center in Brooklyn, New York. Ryan Rucco, Sarah Kustak, and now we are joined by Nick Claxton sporting a new haircut. Yeah. I feel a, I feel a little hurt by that. You don't want to be blonde anymore? Well, I was having more fun, but the blonde <laughs> messed up my hair, so I had to let it go. I like it. I like it. Wait, yeah. it messed up your hair? How? Because just, you know, naturally my hair is black, so the, the chemicals from when I bleached it, it it damaged it. Mm, yeah. Got you. So All right. Rooks doesn't know about hair. Yeah, so I don't. Yeah, uh, I see. I see. I, yeah, I became follically challenged. And, <laughs> right. You know, but I'll tell you what. It's a nice life. You it make, is. You, yeah, you this is a nice life, too. Right, yeah. it's, it's, it's simple. That, that's a better life than my life, I will that's say. True. But, yeah, either way, we're swimming in similar pools now, right. Nick. So <laughs> <laughs> you also, this off season, you look like you put on a little muscle as yeah. well. Is yeah, this a focus up. for you? Yeah, I bulked up a little bit. Just, you know, that was the emphasis going into the off season. just continuing to get stronger. So I'm ready to get stuff started you uh were a free agent mm -hmm. there was a chance that you were not going to be back what were the conversations like to bring you back here to brooklyn and what made you feel good about returning honestly after the season you know i almost was traded towards, towards um the trade deadline but after the season it was pretty simple just working everything out with the money and you know, I was excited to come back and continue to build here. We got a lot of unfinished business. Yeah, you were excited to come back. I know Nets fans were excited to see you back, mm -hmm. but unfinished business, also a lot of uncertainty this yeah. summer with what the lineup would look like, roster, everything um, happening. What was it like for you experiencing that, watching that, wondering who you may be playing with as you headed into this year? It was wild. I mean, honestly, that's kind of how it's been since I've been here, though. <laughs> it's always it's been a roller coaster, always something going on, but... Once everything was settled, you know, we, we saw Kyle was coming back first and we saw Katie was coming back and kind of set the roster. I'm extremely excited. We're really, really, really talented on paper. So we just got to go out and put the work in. Training camp starts tomorrow and, and get ready. How hard or not hard is it, Nick, to turn the page and have everybody be bought in, cohesive, after what you guys went through in the uncertainty of the offseason? Honestly, it's pretty easy. Everything in the off season that happened, you just gotta put it in the in the past and focus on the present and winning trumps everything. So, you know, we go out here and we hoop and win games. People won't be talking about what happened in the off season, they'll be talking about what's happening now. Well what's your perspective on your growth at the early part of the season? Because you you dealt with injuries, you dealt yeah. with some illness, so you've missed some times um, in terms of your availability. What did the end of last season show you, the postseason, and just things you've been focused on throughout the course of the summer heading into this year? Honestly, it was a big confidence builder for me, um, just finishing the season as strong as I did and also showing me, you know, the things that I need to work on, like, you know, free throw shoot and continuing to get stronger so I'm able to, you know, um, hold, my, hold my own out there and the postseason, which is a lot more physical. So it was big for me. And this offseason, I've just been working every single day to get to where I need to be so I'm able to perform and stay healthy throughout the season. What did you do free throw shooting wise, Nick, to try and improve upon that? Just finding a consistent shot. Last year, I switched up my shot a lot. I had a lot of different um, routines that I was using. So this summer, I just found something that I was comfortable with and worked on it. Every, like a lot, a lot, got a lot of reps and, and um, just working on that. So I have that confidence when I step up to the line. When we're looking at this roster, the lineups, there's so much optionality mm -hmm. in how uh, you all can play. But the one area, looking at that five spot, looking at you, looking at Dayron, potentially Markeith Morris, um, Ben could possibly play yeah. big. You guys can play smaller. But uh, there's a lot of expectation and responsibility on, on the job that you will be able to go in and do. What's that like for you? Um, um, just understanding the way things look at that position and, and how you will be relied on this year. I mean, as a basketball player, as a competitor, that's what you dream of, having a, a lot on your shoulders, having more asked of you every single year. And it's my fourth year. I'm ready to take on that role. Um, it's been a, a long time coming, I feel like. You know, we've had a lot of guys come in and out, but I'm I stuck. So I'm excited to to just do what I do and go out there and continue to get better every game, every practice, every day. How do you see you and Ben fitting on the floor together, Nick? <laughs> it's going to be fun. We both, we both 
athletic. We both defend really well. We can both guard five positions. Um, we both get out in transition. So we, we're both excited to play with play with each other uh, uh, and get out there and hoop. <laughs> what, uh, what about your expectations for how you guys may play um, just in terms of system-wise? I know a lot of the players have talked about playing faster and, and yeah. what that could do for you, someone who can rim run. Um, how do you think things may change with the look of this group? I think, you know, like you said, I think we're going to play a lot faster. I think we need to have an emphasis on rebounding. Last year, we won the worst rebounding teams in the league. And I think that'll be solved with us having uh, more size out there and just offensively having a system, everybody playing together as one, as a cohesive unit. Nick, how essential was it knowing that you have Kyrie as a full-time player not going through anything like what you guys went through last year? Yeah, that's big. And, uh, you know, that took a toll on us last year. But I'm glad that we can put that behind us and having us available, having Kai available every single game, that'll be big. You know, he's one of our leaders. We um, we look up to him, so I'm, I'm excited to have him. Full-time. When you think about leadership and leadership of this group and, and everything that has occurred in the off offseason, um, what will it be like finally getting on the floor together, having training camp, being able to, to build together as a group, as a team, as an organization um, after everything that's occurred? It's going to be great. I'm just ready to just kill the noise. We, you know, we, we've been under a lot of scrutiny this offseason for good reason and even last season. But I'm just ready to get out there and just put the work in and go out and, and win games and hopefully, you know, we getting everybody back healthy, so we'll be good. Well, Nick, we appreciate the, the time. Uh, we appreciate the insight onto the muscle building and the haircut as well. <laughs> and uh, we look forward to watching you out on the floor. First preseason game, October 3rd on Yes, and we will be there to call it. Let's get it. All right, yeah, thanks, that's Nick. Nick Claxton. Plenty more to come here. Nets Media Day rolling on.